What do you have for us for the year 2025? What do you think is likely, or maybe you would broaden it from 25, 26, 27. What, do we, what are we likely to see in the next uh, one to three years? Well, I mean, just based on conversations I've had in the last few days, we can already take an idea we have and transform it into a movie. Today, the movies are not quite there. It wouldn't convince you that it's done by uh, a person, although Google actually has a thing where you can actually take anything. Like, I fed in my entire book. I just, just fed in the entire book and said, have a podcast between two people uh, that talks about the summary of the book. Yeah, and it actually it's, it's called what? Uh, it's called uh, uh, Notebook LM, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's an amazing product. It actually got the right summary because there's a lot of ideas in the book, some of which are not that uh, important if you want to talk about the summary of the book. It actually picked the right things and had a, two people that sounded human interacting about a summary of the book which was better actually than most summaries that, that people have created on their own. That's today. Now, suppose you say, well, okay, we got these two people, but, but I want to actually see them. I want them to actually be in some kind of situation and can't quite do that today, but that will happen within the year. Yeah, I, I believe that. I just saw uh, one of the uh, avatar Type companies um, has created your ability to create your avatar and then have it join a Zoom meeting and represent you in in form and voice, and so you can be attending, you know, a hundred or five hundred. You and I used to joke, uh, "I'll have you know Ray uh, two of ten meet with Peter three of ten in the meeting tomorrow afternoon," and and being able to be in multiple places at once. That's ex pretty extraordinary. Yeah. And, uh, and that's going to happen. I don't know if it's one year, two years, three years, but it's happening. It's in that right time frame. Yeah. yeah. A any other fun predictions or conversations you've had in the back halls of Google? Well, all the things that we do, I mean, what's really exciting to me, pharmaceuticals, we go to a person who's had some experience and they have some idea of what might be a pharmaceutical uh, interaction. And they work for 10 years, testing it on people. Um, and maybe if they're lucky, they'll find some pharmaceuticals. Most of the pharmaceuticals on the market today were done that way. So when Moderna wanted to find a COVID vaccine, they made a list of, of, of all the different mRNA sequences that might uh, create COVID. And they had several billion of them. So you would actually test all several billion on, on humans. That's impossible to do. Mm. So they actually simulated that. And they simulated in two days, they tried all several billion in different ways. They could eliminate this patch and this patch. And they found one thing uh, that caused COVID. And they came up with uh, a vaccine. They actually created that vaccine in two days. Now we actually then tested it on humans. It took 10 months. Uh, we'll be able to eliminate that by testing it also by using simulated biology uh, and do that in a, few, in a few days. And we'll be able to actually test uh, every type of medication we want against cancer and so on uh, very quickly. And it'll be millions of times faster than, than what we've done. Especially with alpha proteo, you, you, right? That's part of that's part of the process. Yeah. Uh, to actually come up with proteins that can do that. Human trials are slow. They're risky. They're expensive. They take a long time. Uh, we'll be able to do this much more quickly, l literally millions of times faster, over the next few years. So I think we're going to actually, and already this things on the market that were done that way uh, for cancer and so on. I've got people who've got head cancer and actually trying these new things. Uh, it's it's going to be really fantastic over the next few years. 